Louise didn't have time to get scared. That's unique, brother. You giving him L vibes. You killed your own friend, Breeze. For some territory? To get ahead in the game? Breeze was a bad dude. He was gonna get us all killed. Breeze was a bad dude. He was gonna get us all killed. Should've took out back in the day. Never too late for that. Though. Is Ronnie Breeze. Now, I know a lot of people, they have their doubts about Ronnie being this person that's been in our heads for so long. And one of the main things that people are saying is that Ronnie gives off this energy that nobody would love at the end of the day. They said that Ghost loved Breeze. I loved Breeze. But, mind you, there were some really, really deep psychological traits about Ghost. He would literally show up to his club in a suit, go downstairs, take out someone, go back upstairs and act like nothing even happened. The only other person that we've seen in the club get someone inside of a club and act like nothing even happened has been Ronnie. Think about it. The parallels are there for a reason. We haven't even seen Ronnie do something like this of this nature in the show yet. Ghost got that trait from somebody. And as far as the people are saying that Ronnie's acting like someone that nobody would love. We will naturally see that forever throughout the entire series with his character. There's something called character development and we're going to be able to see his character grow. Just like we saw Unique grow, just like we saw Raquel grow, and just like we're seeing Kanan grow. There's most of these characters that we're going to be able to see down the line. I mean, this is only the tip of the iceberg at the end of the day. And with that being said... Many people seem to have forgotten what the showrunner, Sasha Penn, posted months ago on his IG. He posted this airplane with a tag Breeze on it. Pretty much, you know, explaining the fact that a character has arrived this season that we've been anticipating for such a long time. The only person, the only character that we've seen arrive lately, like I've said before, is none other than Ronnie at this point. And I'll find it kind of corny, in my opinion, for them to have this random, random new character the next season to come in and give off the same vibes and the same energy that Ronnie is giving off at the moment. I just don't see that happening. I just don't see that playing out like that. It would be kind of lame in a way. I mean, why establish this character the, the way that they're establishing it? Getting all over, you know, Unique's business, getting into Kanan's business, and collaborating with Juliana pretty much everybody why do all of this just to throw this character away his brothers are unique the person who was running south side and who Raquel was depending on doing her dirty work from that point forward i mean think about it it makes perfect sense at this point this is breeze at the end of the day there's no other way around it now as far as well ronnie's gonna do next He's going to do everything he can to try and make more money. And obviously, one of the things that they foreshadowed already was the relationship that he's going to have with Kanan. And I just see this being something very interesting playing out in the series. I mean, it's going to be interesting to see, you know, how the type of chemistry that they have between each other. And I feel as though, you know, just based on the way things ended between Ghost and Kanan, I believe that something, there's something special. There's going to be something special between Ronnie and Kanan. There's gonna be something in my opinion that Kanan is gonna see in Ronnie that he doesn't see in Raquel. And I believe that is this extra layer of being more aggressive. Raquel, she had her time in my opinion. The title of the show is not Raquel Raising Kanan. It's called Raising Kanan. Eventually there's gonna be a point where Breeze comes in and he's gonna be the person who's calling all of the shots. That's the way it ended. That's the last person that goes hit in order for him to be in that position that he was in that we saw him in back then. Why wouldn't you want to take out the boss? It's the same shit you did to Breeze. So like I said about Raquel, 
I believe her time is going to come to an end eventually. I feel like it already is. She already has that feeling inside of her where she doesn't want to shoot her ways out of problems anymore. And this could be for the fact that she wants to be closer to Kanan. But I feel like, much like Tariq, Kanan feels like he doesn't really know who Raquel truly is. And he feels as though Raquel has put him in this atmosphere where he has no choice but to hustle for what he believes is his. Which is why I believe that Kanan took such a liking to Tariq and why he took him back to Southside Jamaica and just showed him where he came from. The life that he was a part of with Ghost and Tommy. I mean, think about it. I mean, that had to be the entire motivation for Kanan to act the way that he did around Tariq. Just studying the way that Kanan acted, he was kind of psychotic as well. I mean, the one problem was he wasn't as smart as Ghost. I believe Ghost had more brains. He moved quietly. We're seeing a lot of that coming from Ronnie right now. But based on what Tommy said about Breeze, Tommy said that Breeze gave Ghost his name because he never saw him coming and he never saw him leave. We knew this guy Breeze when we were kids. He came up with Ghost. He said the kid had the ability to disappear. You never saw him coming. You never saw him leave. Based on what we've seen from Ronnie, we never really see him coming and we never see him leave. So for Ghost to come into the picture, I believe that he's going to be this character who, who is obviously going to be smarter than Kanan and is going to take Ronnie by surprise. And he's going to be more aggressive than Kanan, in my opinion. And it could very likely be that he is the final villain. Ghost is the final villain of Raising Kanan. He's going to give, you know, Ronnie the same treatment that Ronnie gave to Unique. And that's going to be Ronnie's karma at the end of the day because the same energy you put out, that's eventually going to come back to you sometimes 10 times harder. And we know that Ghost, based on what Ghost said, Breeze got in the way of his future. I killed Breeze because he got in the way of my future. Ronnie seems like the person that would get in the way of someone's future. Think about it, I mean, that makes perfect sense. But yeah, guys, that's pretty much it. Let me know what you guys think down in the comment section. What do you guys see happening with Ronnie's character? Do you guys believe he's Breeze? Is he not Breeze? Think about it. Pay some thought to this. Pay attention to the way he acts. Go back to the episodes. Study his character. He's very, very suspicious. And he just fits the description perfectly. But let me know what you guys think down in the comment section. Hit the like button, subscribe, and I will catch you all in the next video. Thank you for watching.